Hi, Michael here. So I 3D printed a new um, blade cutter housing for the LX art module and I'm going to give it a go and see if this works better. Uh, the previous one was a bit too narrow, um, only just a bit, um, such that the housing moved a bit. Now this time hopefully it doesn't move as much because it's now 20 centimeter, 20 millimeters wide and fits very snug and I've had to tighten this with a um, an allen key into the holes here so I just stick it in and um, uh, lever it to to ensure it's quite tight so let's see how this works let's call up design space Yeah, let's connect. Let's bring in a shape. No, let's bring in a actual design. Do a boom with this color. And need to do an outline of this. Um, so I'm going to do G code. So now I've got the outline and let's make it 10 centimeters wide, so 100. And everything should be 0, 0 location. Let's preview this. Yep, let's give this a go. So hopefully this is cutting, it feels as if it's cutting. So on the screen here on the left we have um, time elapsed. On the right we've got time remaining. Um, and then there are other things such as acceleration and velocity. Um, I haven't played with that so I'm not too sure um, how that impacts things. Now obviously the more complex your design if there are a lot of, um, how we call it, uh, small bits, such as if we look at boom here, we've got the center of the O's, the little bits of the B's, um, oh yeah, part of the exclamation mark, those are going to be separate, so um, you've got to weed them out and ensure you put them back in the right place uh, as appropriate. So if you get a more complex image, um, with a lot more small little bits, you're going to have to spend more time doing that, uh, what we call weeding. So it seems as if we're nearly done. It's just doing the inside of an O there. And that's most likely the part of the exclamation mark. And yeah, the other O and the other part of the B. And that's done. Let's see how. So that took 1 minute 50. And let's see how this turned out. So let's remove this. So this is a sticky base for I think crickets, crickets, crickets. Um, let's move that to the side. Let's have a look here. So let's find an edge. All coming out quite nicely. 
little bit there. So if I do, why don't I put this on, on here, on the back of this. Oops. Right, this is sticky. I'll just stick it there. Boom. As you can see, the actual lettering of boom. So I need to get this out. Take the little bit out here. That's the big O. So let's do like that. Out of the B. The top bit, stick that there. Oops. As you can see, these things are a bit fidgety. So there's the boom. Take this a little bit. I think there are special tools for these things. As these are small and fidgety. There we go, stick that there. Take this. That's the other O. Oh, stick that there. Uh, and the other part of the exclamation mark is still here. And there you go. So it's working reasonably well. Let me try to zoom in so you can see. So the cutout boom, the bigger parts, now obviously stick these inner parts probably a bit better or better located and that looks quite nice. Um, let me show you the actual bit. So here's the actual blade housing. As I explained before, I use this to um, tighten it. Now I'm loosening it. Oops. Here we go. You can see the little holes there. Now I pull this out. You've got to be careful because there's a blade in there. Um, there's a hole here so you can poke the end of it and you can actually remove the blade so let, let's remove the housing as you can see oops sort of been ignoring the zoom so this was like this in here i used the blade the um, allen key to push through so the blade comes out so when you do that you can then remove blade safely and where is it here's the pack and I can then put the cover on so I think these are standard sizes um, I'll provide a link to this um, such that you can see and if you're printing this that'll fit nice and snug it won't move left or right and you still got the hole here to ensure that you can put the blade in um, comfortably and it grips it and pulls it back down um, hope that helps and get creating and see you soon